hello and welcome to the channel this is joanna kajuna reporting for gc on hashtag sustainable sunday if you are in nigeria or you are conversant with the nigerian climate or conversant with the nigerian space you know that we are in the peak of the rainy season yep and with the rainy season a lot of things come with it you might have seen videos like this <laughs> shown the adverse effects of flooded and these videos were particularly taken in the city of Lagos one of the most urban cities in Nigeria and even in Africa at large in the mud with the water of the flood one thing to note is that this is not the first time flooding has ravaged Lagos no and it did not just start last year it didn't start the year before instead it has been occurring every year and it seems with every year nothing has changed instead it seems like it's even increasing nothing has changed so what are the reasons why this flooding keeps on attacking lagos people what have they done wrong i am no expert but i have some of the reasons why this flooding keeps on attacking a lot of urban cities in nigeria firstly climate change <laughs> There are a lot of climate change deniers and a lot of people that are not really understanding that what's actually happening is climate change, but the climate is changing. You, you, unless you're living under the rock or you're not on this earth, the climate has changed drastically in most recent years and sea levels are rising. Lagos is a low-lying coastal city and as such, it is going to be prone to flooding due to the rising sea levels. Uh, the sea levels are rising and there's a need for it to balance out and as such there's going to be more flooding another reason why flooding ravages nigeria nigerian cities nigerian urban dwellings is poor urban planning now most nigerian cities have most nigerian cities have poor urban planning not that there are no laws for urban planning but because of corruption negligence or just anyhowness we do not there is no strict compliance to the laws regarding urban planning and, and as such you'll find people building on flood plains when they shouldn't be building there because those planes are meant for when floods occur but you have people building there because everybody wants to make money everybody wants to be a landlord even at the expense of being a mommy water neighbor they just do not care Lagos, for example, is one of the most urbanized cities in Nigeria, even in Africa as a whole. But if you are conversant with Lagos, you know that a Lagos needs a lot of urban plan overhaul because they have been non-compliance with, the, with their urban planning laws. And when the floods come, it affects them badly because where you're not supposed to build, you're built there. And that is meant to be a water passage area. And then you have blocked it because... You want to build your kitchen where the water is supposed to pass. One thing that people don't know is that water is also king. Water is a king and where it wants to pass, it must pass. And once you've blocked the passage or pathway for water to move, it is going to find its way. Either it goes through your parlor or it goes through your backyard or it goes through your car water is surely going to pass building your edifice in the part of a water pathway is not going to stop that water from passing it is going to affect it now another reason why this flooding keeps on happening is urbanization with urbanization comes felling of trees turning of farmlands to estates it's a housing deficit in lagos and I, and who is at the receiving end of this nature 
because of profit making profit margin people have forgotten that a lot of these things that we put in place on earth serve a purpose everything in the ecosystem serves a purpose so when you remove trees that also serve as that all act as windbreakers, they help against soil runoff, they help against erosion, and they also help in times of flooding. You're going to have a repercussion, and there will be more flooding, there's going to be more soil runoff, and there's going to be more soil erosion, and your houses are also going to be affected because the things that were meant to be for protection, you have cut it down. Either you're thinking it is an urbanger that has eyes, <laughs> Or you think that it is stopping the flow of fresh air or you think that it is not just going to let light pass through well you're going to deal with flood and you will learn how to be mommy water let's let's one thing to note is that if, especially if you're living in Lagos you ought to start learning your mommy water skills I think someone should open a YouTube channel on how to be mommy water because by the end of the century, in the year 2100, if things are not, if drastic steps and measures are not put in place, Lagos is going to submerge, Lagos is going to be a submerged city. It's going to be under the water. And some of these reasons I've listed are part of the reasons why it is going to be so. The reason why flooding in Lagos or in most urban cities are a reoccurring problem is man activities human activities now you we have poor waste management laws we have poor waste management systems we have broken waste management systems and as such we have people trade their waste in drainages we do not even have enough drainage systems and still due to our poor waste management cultures and systems we block these drainage systems that are even there to serve the purpose of being pathways for this water to pass and then we block the drainage system i have the saying where i say the plastics or the waste that you plant in drainages is surely going to show itself during the rainy season because they're going to come out and they are blocked that's why you see that after a rain you see that more after a rain all those waste that you threw away in the drainage systems in your gutters thinking they've gone away when it rains, they come back on your streets. They are all over your streets, literally everywhere, because we did not do we because we did not do the right thing. Until we learn to do the right thing, we are going to continue causing problems for ourselves and also encouraging flooding to keep on disturbing us. And now that we know some of the reasons why flooding keeps on ravaging, what is the government doing about it? Flooding happens every year, and there's just little being done. Just government officials come do some press conferences have some cameras up in your faces and then the emergency response team comes give some relief materials and if you're unfortunate your house is swept away by flood oh sorry for you it's just a few relief materials and everything is back to normal rinse repeat next year i mean part of the things i think the government are not doing well is there's no effective national early warning systems during against floods or during the rainy season there's no it's not as effective as it should be there's also no cohesion integration between agencies that are being set up for disaster management flood management there's not enough integration but now what should the government do they should equip a relevant agencies and they should they should equip the relevant agencies with the tools and materials and resources that they need to be able to tackle this thing Flooding has continued being a nightmare for people. People lose their houses, they lose their homes, they lose loved ones, people die. Some of the videos that have been circulating on social media, there was this video of the sinking Lexus ship. It was alleged that there were a few casualties. People die, people are injured, people lose body parts, all due to flooding. And every year, we must always have episodes of this in some states in Nigeria. And it shouldn't be so. We should also have proper waste management systems and laws, strict compliance to waste management laws. There should be strict compliance to waste management laws. We should also have strict urban planning laws that are implemented. It's not that we do not have all these laws. Though. They are not implemented. They are not implemented. Implementation is another ball game when it comes to the Nigerian, Nigerian system. There's a lot of 
corruption, anyhowness, nepotism, and it is continually and it's continually not making everything come together and making us fail in areas where we shouldn't be and causing adverse effects at the end of it all. Climate change is here and we're saying that the effects are affecting a lot of us in Nigeria. They should be there should be climate change there should be climate change mitigation measures for people that are directly affected by climate change. There should be climate change mitigation measures for them. And governments also understand that without a safe environment, without a healthy environment, without a without a healthy environment, every other thing in their government will not coexist well. And moreover, flooding sets us back, flooding Flooding sectors bag, it makes it it mass development, it mass growth. Because just imagine you built the city up to this level and then the floods come and washes away like half of it or displaces like half of the people you it's going to set you back on your development goals. Flooding does all that. Management until we have proper flood management systems in place, it's going to continue ravaging. And also as individuals, what can we do? Firstly, we know that the government needs to do a whole lot more when it comes to waste, ma waste management systems, but also throwing away your trash in your gutters is not going to be the answer to your problems, or it's not going to be the answer to making your environment clean. Instead, we as individuals should also step up and do the right thing as, re as regards to our waste disposal methods. Also, we should try to do the right thing. We should be the change that we want to see. If we want this to be this, Please, let's do this to be that. If we want this to be this, let us see how we could come together as a people, as a community, and ask for that change, demand for that change, demand for that thing, and we can be, and gradually, we'll be able to see the change that we want to see. If you watch this video up to this very moment, thank you very much, and I hope that you've liked this video, and also you've subscribed if you've been here up to now. Just subscribe. Just do the hunt. Just do the honorable thing and subscribe. You can share this video to people that you know will benefit greatly from this message. So share this with as much people as you can. And to the Lagos people and people that have been greatly affected by the floods, my thoughts and prayers are with you. And I hope that you could be able to recover all that was lost in the floods. Until my very next video, remember that you can be the change that you want to see. Jada Peruda. Signing out.